what we're looking at is a Bolshevik revolution. All of this started in 1848 with an ass bag named Karl Marx. I hope somebody who likes Karl Marx is out there listening because he was a diseased, unwashed, postulant, fat son of a bitch who used all of his wife's inheritance money, got the maid pregnant, hid that child, would only allow that child to come in the side door of the house, never worked a day in his life, was mostly a drunk, and only wrote about a quarter of all the stuff that's attributed to him. That's Karl Marx. That's Go Karl. ahead, look it up, have a good time. Yeah, Karl Marx brings up all of his stuff, gets it going. People go, this sounds like a really good idea because people are stupid and they want free things and they're entitled. Especially no. rich college kids. Oh, yeah. Entitled? That's the pattern. No. That's the pattern is the rich college kids. So there's a guy from Ukraine, and his name is Lev Bronstein, and he goes to Russia in 1916. And he starts to try to foment a revolution. At the time, the Tsar was still in charge, Tsar Nicholas. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tsar Nicholas was having none of that and kicked him out of the country. Well, Lev Bronstein goes to New York, where he finds a bunch of bankers who are like, you know, actually, we could profit from this. So they bankroll Lev Bronstein, who goes to Russia now with an exorbitant amount of money for the time, I think in that at that time it was something like two million dollars okay. hang right there hanging what similarities are there they send one guy with a whole boatload of cash to take down the russian government at that time now we have black rock and vanguard are literally doing the exact same thing. they're the new york bankers there you go it's happening again what we need how many times for? we say this on the show we're literally reliving our past. It's like an endless fucking loop. We never learn from it. This is insane. Yes. All right. I'm sorry. I won't. That's okay. That's okay. We needed to get there. All right. We All right. needed to get there. So Lev Bronstein gets to Russia and decides that he needs a name change. And now you know him as Leon Trotsky. The psycho. The psycho. Oh, yeah. You thought, yeah. You thought what, Len, what Stalin was bad. Stalin... This uh, didn't he whack that guy because he was too hang, fucking. Hang sick? on, you're going. You're jumping oh, I'm ahead. sorry. I'm you're jumping sorry. ahead. You're jumping ahead. Get back in line. All right. Uh, and uh, so Trotsky finds this guy Lenin. They start this revolution. They get everything rolling. Lenin appear, uh, turns out to be very effective. He takes charge, and a guy named Beria forms the NKDV in this new Soviet Russia, and Beria is a vicious psychopath. Trotsky is not much better. They proceed to exterminate as many people as they could get their hands on, especially in the countryside, starve tens of millions to death. Uh, an act called the Holodomor that there are groups out there who don't like to acknowledge that it exists, but it exists. Yeah, and sorry, they don't actually have a number. Of no. How many people were starved? It's estimated to be sixty to eighty million yeah. for the whole. Just of think, world. and that is even before World War II even started. This is it? before. Yeah. This is between nineteen seventeen and nineteen thirty. I think. Yeah. All of the starvation goes on. The NKDV, meanwhile, led by Beria, is a ruthless organization that just grabs people off of the street. And there's the Russian offer Solstenin, I think it was who said if we had been waiting in hallways for them to come to the door with clubs and sticks instead of cowering in our beds, it might have gone differently. Correct. Um, that This is the NKDV and Beria that he's talking about. Well, hang on, hang on. Yeah. That is why you need to shut the mentality off of it's not me. You have to add the words, it's not me yet. Because they will get to you at some point. It's I'm next. Yeah. You need to be thinking I'm next. Correct. My family is next. So this Beria guy goes around basically killing and torturing whoever he wants until they get what they consider to be a pure Soviet Politburo. You should look up the names of that pure Soviet Politburo, and it becomes very rapidly apparent what it is that they're going for there. Um, this Soviet Politburo is now consolidated. So the next step for Beria and his NKVD is to round up the... Idiots, useful idiots, and that that All did the people take that place. helped them. Yeah. So, and why did they do that? Because they didn't want it done to them. Yep. And Mao did the same thing. Correct. Mao would do the same thing in the fifties. 
So they round up the useful idiots and they kill all of them. Now they've got their Soviet Union. Isn't it glorious? We still have a problem. And this is where we are right now because all during that time, that Soviet Politburo controlled the journalists. Correct. And the journalists sang in tune. They preached everything the Soviet Politburo was giving them. We're here for you. Yes. And now the Soviet Politburo is all settled in. And that's where we are right now. That's where we are. Yeah. Because our all of our media is owned by six fucking corporations. And we've got secret police snatching Americans and stuffing them into gulags for two, three years in solitary confinement. Well, there's that. And did it, somebody just get executed in a parking lot? Oh, they yeah. Called it guy suicide? talking about things that were going wrong. Yeah. The Boeing guy. Mm. Yeah. I'm sure he, no, he committed suicide. Yes, that's what happened. He committed suicide. Uh, it's blatantly the obvious. Official version. Yeah, it's blatantly obvious. Let's stick with the official version. So this is where we are right now. You are right now with a Bolshevik government that thinks it has power. It's got the journalists singing their tune, saying anything the Bolshevik government wants them to say. <clears throat> and then that Bolshevik government turned around and killed all of the journalists um, this and replaced them. This is going to blow your mind. When Russia starved all those people to death, they were screwing with the food, right? Uh, isn't that going on right now? Yeah, I think we've got going, how many food processing, plants food processing plants have been burned up and like that? Yeah. We have odd private, private individuals and other fucking countries buying our farmland here. Why the hell are we allowing China to buy farmland here when we can't even own property over there? This is a setup from the top down, man. It's almost like a Bolshevik government. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Funded by foreign interests. Correct. And. They've literally let our defenses down and imported an entire goddamn army into our country. And we covered that with what was a four shows mm -hmm. in uh, immigration invasion. Correct. Yep. Just just wait for the uh, the the people in Haiti to uh, come across. If you don't know what's going on in Haiti, here. Oh, oh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll oh, get there. Okay. Right, hold we'll on, Jimmy. Get we'll get there. there. We'll get to that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but you're you are you are uh, you are over the target, Jimmy. But don't hit the release button just yet. Roger that. Um, so these journalists that are reporting and gushing about the riots and the and the attempted coup in D.C. and you guys are next. That's right. You're next. And right after that is the useful idiots. No, the useful idiots came first. They're in jail right now. Well, here's the thing. It yes. That's how it went back in the day. Mm -hmm. But I can see them shutting down the journalists or making them you know, sing the song of the government and then going after the useful idiots. The, and I oh, think there was there was there's always more useful idiots to go. Oh yeah. The useful idiots that I'm talking about are the ones who charged the capital. Okay, well, that's okay. just a small minority, but yeah, okay. It is a small minority, but that's all it took in Russia as well. All they had to do was take Moscow. <clears throat> Yeah, that's really all they had to do. Then the journalists go. Once the journalists go, and the the barrier, I think Merrick Garland is our barrier. Yeah, we'll, 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 listen, we'll go down that entire list. We will go down that, and we'll list. do comparisons. We'll, we'll go down that list. So now that we are at the journalists singing in tune with our new Bolshevik friends, we need to be very worried. This is the part where you really need to start worrying. But here's another thing that I think is working in our favor. If even if they're successful and they completely take over DC, yeah. there's over half the country who are not playing ball. In fact, we've got what Texas ready to leave the union. And yep. once that happens, you're going to see this country basically get divided in half in a very very short time frame uh i was talking about uh beria the guy who ran the nkdv and trotsky and lenin now lenin dies of a stroke in 50 i think it was they poisoned his ass oh come on no i'm just saying and then joe stalin takes over joe stalin decides that trotsky is a psychopath i don't remember what happened to beria but i believe beria just kind of disappeared <laughs> So he was edited out of existence, like all the pictures. That's the guy in yeah. the picture. Yeah. 
Who, oh no, the guy who's no longer in the picture. Yeah, he's no longer in the picture. He's really no longer in the picture. Yeah, they photoshopped his ass out before there was fucking Photoshop. So Trotsky flees the country, goes to Mexico, and is living happily there. And a bunch of American communists go down there and hang out with him. And isn't he a great guy? That Trotsky guy, that Lev Bronstein. Why has he got to have an extra name? Why is he from the Ukraine? What's the tie there to what's going on today? The Trotsky gets down there to Mexico and eventually ends up assassinated by a Soviet agent. No. Yeah, I know. Like a oh. loose end or something. Wow. Like a loose end or something. Very strange. Very strange <laughs> behavior. Yeah, yep. they have this habit of killing each other. I'm shocked. I am shocked that more U.S. politicians haven't had U.S. politicians assassinated. I mean, other than Kennedy being assassinated by our own CIA. Oh, no, no, no. He got a surprise haircut. Surprise haircut? He got a JFK surprise haircut. I like that. <laughs> I, li I like that a lot. A dick. Other than JFK getting a surprise moving haircut. <laughs> We're, we're so getting a walk through for that one. Um, All right, <laughs> I'm I'm shocked that more pol more American politicians haven't whacked each other. We know Hillary Clinton's got a All right, now. First of all, list of okay, allegedly, allegedly, we can't allegedly, say it was she did. We, we're just saying it's very it is highly suspected yeah. that allegedly one Clinton comma Hillary has an extensive list that totals more than fifty four. I thought it was in the early, low sixties. Well, I could be could wrong. Be. Okay, so there's that, though. Yep. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Caser box.